Hey there, welcome back. So we're continuing with our wolf tutorials and last time I did a wolf head tutorial about the side perspective and this time we're going to tackle the front view. Okay, let's get to it. And again I have here a sketch of a wolf, I just simply took a photo and did the outlining and traced the fur direction and length. And you can see again um, that the hair here, uh, especially on the snout, is very short and also around the eyes. And we get longer and longer to the sides. Also the hair on the top of the ears is also very short and it gets gradually longer as we get more and more to the head. So this time we're going to start with an ellipse and let's see, we'll start here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So a little bit wider. <clears throat> and excuse my coughing, um, we're going to draw the center lines, the vertical center line and the horizontal one go. We are again halving it here. It's going to be important for later for the for the ears. And the distance between the eyes is about this size. And the nose is about the size as the distance between the eyes. So about like this. And it's a very at the very bottom of this circle here. And it says about this shape. It goes, it goes a little bit over the circle, like this, okay, and <clears throat> we draw these circles for the nostrils. <clears throat> Alright, and this is connected. Now. <clears throat> the eyes are a little bit above the center line. The eyes are about here. Not all the way to this mark, but a little bit to the side of it. Okay, some small circles. And then we draw the eyelids around it. And these this kind of very basic geom geometric shape around it like this this is the dark part around the eyes and the pupils to tarten it and there we go all right and we can erase this part here okay then so for the ears we're going to start a line from the inner corner of the eyes a little bit bent and this is where the ears are going to start and the end when we draw now this line here where we halved it these are going to be the points where the ears are going to stop so we now measure <coughs> again um, this distance here up here one two three four and a half and we go down a little bit so about here and this is where the top of the ears are going to be and we go very steeply up, a little bit flat here, and then we curve down. And it's bent in a little bit like this, and we make also this kind of... And we also make this line here. And for the inner part, we draw these lines here. And the same on the other side. We steeply up. We curve down here. Make this little line. And then the inner part. Okay. Now let's get back to the mouth. 
we are drawing a little bit down here and then we draw it about to the center when we look at the center of the eyes until this line here and we go about to the height of the nose a little bit over it maybe like this okay and we have the little chin here and the lips which are very dark normally and also we see the part of the lips here at these corners okay <coughs> and some lines here to indicate the shape of the head and that's basically the structure of a wolf head from the front perspective and so let's start with the outlining now so in the last episode I talked about uh, movies with wolves that were very significant for me in my childhood and I mentioned Balto, which is a very beautiful movie after all. And the other one, which is pretty much my favorite movie of all, uh, is Princess Mononoke. It is such a beautiful movie and uh, I can already mention that I will probably do a tutorial about the wolves from Princess Mononoke. I'm not sure yet because uh, the wolves are pretty normal looking other than they have more than one tail but I will see. Maybe I will do a tutorial about them after all. And yeah, I'm going to fast forward now for the outlining and come back to you. Alright, I'm done with the outlining. As you can see, I did it like last time in a very comic style way with very big strands of hair. I traced this line here so to indicate the shape of the head. And yeah, this part here, this lower part, is not very realistic but just a, um, a choice of style and it's just supposed to look better like this. Um, and yeah. This is basically it and now I'm going to do the coloring and shading and all this stuff again and come back to you when I'm done. Alright, finished. And this is my head from the front view. Um, as you can see, I added a lot of colors to it to make it more interesting. But of course, it's completely up to you um, what kind of style you want to do it and what kind of colors you are using. This drawing is not perfect. I did it very quickly and roughly just to show you some basic things you can do. And well, the rest is up to you. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, feedback or requests for me, then please let me know in the comment section as always. Alright then, have fun drawing! Mm. Mm. Yeah.